Hi, I'm Ollie, and I'm here to find out if the people of Merseyside can tell me what their Police and Crime Commissioner has achieved since being elected, or even if they know who it is. So, who is the elected Police and Crime Commissioner for Merseyside? <laughs> Don't know. Got no idea. I wouldn't know. Haven't the funds? No. Couldn't tell you. Haven't got a clue. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I haven't a clue. I don't know. I don't know, really. Can you think of anything that the elected police and crime commissioner has done? No. I don't know. I have no nothing. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not off the top of my head. No. Again, I don't know. <laughs> not on any of the papers, don't know, not on the news. Don't really get any local leaflets or not or so. Well, they haven't done a lot of this. Not much, from what I've seen, no. Nothing that can come to mind. When, when are they all going to step up to the police? Should be visible. Yeah, should, should be, be visible. Be. If you don't know about it, then you're not going to want to find out. I think if the community have no idea who the person is or what they're doing, I think that's probably a little bit of a loophole there. Obviously, they should be consulting the public. That would be a good idea. So it would, it would be nice, to, you know, to know about it and maybe go to like local, as I say, local communities. I think the Police and Crime Commissioner could definitely have been more visible. I'm Ollie Martins and I'm standing for Merseyside Police and Crime Commissioner. I'm ready to step up to the plate, engage with communities and be visible.